This is Minecraft's most impossible maze, and if my friends reach the inside of it, they win $1,000. However, all of this is going to happen in seven days, and as of right now, we haven't even built the maze. So, first things first, let's lay down the outline of the maze. Oh my god, this is absolutely massive. It might be the biggest build I've ever done. Anyways, this right here is going to be the entrance. And now, in the rest of this space, we can add so many tricks, dead ends, and traps to make this the most impossible maze in all of Minecraft. So first up, right as they go in, I want them to have as many choices as possible, and hopefully they make the wrong one. So they can go left, they can go right, and we'll even make it so they can go straight forward. I'm literally going to make this maze so impossible. Now I think it's time we build the first trap of the maze. And for these traps, it's very important to remember, my friends will be playing this maze in survival mode, meaning if they die, they'll be reset to the very start of the maze where the bed is placed. So they really need to try their best not to die to this first trap, which is going to be some TNT minecart landmines. So of course, we're going to need some TNT, some minecarts, and now we'll combine a bunch of them together. Then we'll need some powered rails and some stone pressure plates. Okay, for these, all we do is very carefully dig a hole like that. Then we place powered rails like that, and then very carefully place TNT minecarts. Oh my god, this is scary. I don't like being this close. We place grass over the top, so it's basically invisible now. And then we place a pressure plate on top. And if I was to walk into this, I would lose my hardcore world. So I'll probably test it in a different world. Yep, it works. But because I don't want the entire maze to be blown up, I'm going to use some obsidian to surround this area of the maze. But underneath the maze is, of course, a giant ocean. So we're going to have to replace this dirt with obsidian. Oh my god. See you guys in 10 years. And now down here, we'll build an obsidian trough where all the TNT minecarts will go. And finally, we can use sponges to get rid of the water. All right, now we need to very carefully build a bunch of these traps. I'm going to spread them out kind of randomly, so hopefully they at least stand on one. Obsidian there, obsidian there, obsidian there. Nice. Okay, now for the scary part. I'm going to put my chest plate on, and it's time to load up the minecarts. <laughs> oh, this is definitely going to kill one of them. All right, that's all of them placed. Now we cover up this area with grass. And finally, the most important part, we cover the entire area with stone pressure plates. <laughs> oh my god. This is scary. And this is only the first of 16 traps that are designed to make this maze basically impossible and save me $1,000. But trap number two is a little bit different. It's not going to kill them like trap number one, but instead it's going to waste a bunch of their time, which is extremely precious to my friends as they'll only have 10 minutes to complete the maze. So the way it's going to work is we'll have one nether portal here in this dead end, and then we'll link this nether portal to the nether roof. Nice. Now we need to build another dead end over here in the maze. And now we'll build a second nether portal over here. This portal is linked up with another portal on the nether roof. So now we're going to build another maze in the nether that will literally just waste their time as if they find the other nether portal, they'll just be teleported to a dead end. Okay, we want to make this maze fairly small, but also still quite difficult. I really want to waste as much time as I can because I don't want to lose another $1,000. And there we go. We've built a maze inside a maze. And speaking of wasting time, trap number three is going to do it in a slightly different way. But to do it, we need a lot more string. And that is a stack of string. You survive. Just joking, you die. And now we're also gonna need tripwire hooks, which I just found out you craft like that. And dispensers. All right, so now we can set these up in the maze. And now we need to link this up with a dispenser. Redstone along here. Yes. Yes. So you'd run around this corner and bang. Yeah get redstone thrown in your face. But we can definitely replace the redstone with something a bit more slowing. And by that, I mean potions of slowness. So of course, now we'll replace the redstone with these potions of slowness. And let's make a few more of these traps. So that's all the easy traps done. But before we move on to the medium traps, let's make some more progress on the maze. 
So we've now completed about a third of the maze. I added this section that basically leads in one massive loop. And of course, added about 20 new dead ends. And finally, I started developing the route that will actually lead to the $1,000 prize. I also added these diamonds that represent my $1,000. Speaking of which, we've only got five days until my friends do the maze, so we should probably get making the medium traps. The next trap is gonna be parkour that my friends will have to do to get to the next section of the maze. So first of all, I wanna do the parkour over here and I wanna dig out all of this grass. Now we're gonna use black concrete to make the section where they'll fall if they fail the parkour. Perfect. Okay, now we can use these sponges to drain all of the water. Let's go. Okay, and now we'll use orange blocks for the actual parkour blocks. We want to make this challenging, but not too hard, as there will be some harder parkour later in the video. Maybe if we can put one there. Oh, that is a hard jump. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll move this block. And now for trap number five, I want to steal something from my last video where I made a biome for every single color in Minecraft. In the white biome, I used powdered snow to make these little powdered snow traps. But when my friends are doing the maze, they won't be able to break any blocks. So if they get caught in powdered snow, they are going to die. So first, we're going to need some regular snow to make everything seem normal. And when they stand on the powdered snow, it's going to be so funny. All right, now I feel like we've got a fair amount of traps over here, so I think I'm going to put the snow trap in this direction. So I guess let's first start replacing all of this grass with snow. I can't believe this is only the fifth trap and I already feel like our maze is gonna save us a thousand dollars. Okay, now we'll make a bunch of holes in the snow and hopefully they fall into at least one of them. And now we fill these in with powdered snow. I think as a little twist, I wanna connect this one up with another part of the maze. So that if they fall down this specific hole, they have a chance of getting further ahead in the maze. I wonder if that'll actually happen. But before we can find that out, we need to build trap number six, which is gonna be a little bit different. I wanna build a giant tree house that will take ages to get up and down. Plus, when they look down at the maze from the top, they'll realize they've gone completely the wrong way. So I think I wanna put this somewhere over here, but for it, we're gonna need a hell of a lot of wood. And luckily for this forest, I have an insanely powerful wood farm. So we should be able to get all the wood we need very fast. All right, we've got the wood, but trees also have leaves. So it looks like that forest isn't safe after all. All right, so we've got all the materials now, and I want to build it here in this section of the maze. But first, I want to separate it from the rest of the maze so that it's a complete dead end. Perfect. But to waste as much time as possible, we need to make this tree massive. So we'll do some big roots on the ground. Then we'll make the trunk very thick at the bottom. And as it goes higher up, the tree should get thinner. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good for the height. Now we should add some branches and stuff for the leaves. So like in my last video where I built that massive pink tree, I'm just gonna spam loads of blocks. All right, that's all the branches. Now we can build the actual treehouse part. So I think we're gonna use wooden planks for this. We'll use some fences for the windows. And of course, we're gonna need a way up maybe through the center of the tree. If we put the entrance to it at the back, it'll waste even more time. They're gonna be so annoyed when they look down and see they're in the complete wrong place. Ooh, and we'll also craft some signs. And we'll leave one here saying, you're lost. Lol. Okay, that is the treehouse finished. So that trap should waste a lot of time, but this next trap is gonna be a lot more deadly. And because of that, I wanna make sure it's on the route that actually leads to the $1,000 prize. All right, so for this trap, we're gonna make use of tripwires again, and we're gonna use them to activate a piston door that drops down to a pit of lava. And I've purposely put it on a corner, so when they run around it, they won't really have enough time to avoid it. The only problem is I've never really made one of these doors before so we're gonna have to like figure it out as we go along okay so i'm pretty sure we need to put pistons here and we need one more layer down here like that and one more here there then we need pistons no not facing that way pistons like this now we can start with the redstone oh this is the tricky part this needs to be one layer up oh my god wait but for some reason these middle ones aren't being powered so what if we get some redstone from here connect it up like this and that should power both of them. I think it actually works. Now, if we connect this redstone to the tripwire, it should work. Oh my God, we've just let water in and it's destroyed everything. Oh my God, what have I even done? 
<laughs> it's doing a different thing each time. I think to fix this, the best way is going to be to simplify it into a two by two door. Okay, I think I've actually finally got it working. Come on, please. Yes, and we'll fall into the lava pit here. Nice. It seems like if you're running fast enough, you could escape it. So let's add a little barrier like this. And this way, I don't think people will be able to react in time. And now we can grab the actual lava for the trap. So let's wall this all in like this. And we'll fill it up with lava. Now this trap is completely invisible and impossible to survive. Meaning they'll almost certainly get reset to the very start of the maze, which should waste loads of their time. And speaking of wasting their time, trap number eight should do just that. And for it, we're gonna need a bunch of shears. Then we're gonna murder this innocent dolphin. <laughs> and now you have to subscribe to this channel so we can hit 1.5 million subscribers by the end of the year. Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. But seriously, we need to use these shears to collect a bunch of cobwebs. Would be good if I actually picked them up. I'm not sure exactly how many we need of these. I just know we need a lot. And we need to hurry up because tomorrow I've asked one of my other YouTuber friends to test out the maze so that I can make sure it's hard enough and I don't lose $1,000. But obviously before we do that, we need to finish all the medium traps and finish building the actual maze. It would be really cool to have these cobwebs in a dead end. So I think we'll have some in a dead end and then some on the path that actually leads to the $1,000. All right, this section over here is all one big dead end. So I'm gonna fill it with lots of cobwebs. This way people might think it's the way they need to go and waste loads of time in the cobwebs. Let me out, I've got so much work to do. Okay, and now we'll develop the path that leads to the $1,000 a little bit more. So in this new section over here that leads to the center, we're gonna make a maze out of cobwebs. Literally another maze inside of wow. a maze. We're also just gonna spread out cobwebs so they just waste time. All right, and now that this is complete, it's time for the last medium trap, which is gonna be a much deadlier parkour. And for it, we're gonna need some orange stained glass. So there's gonna be lava underneath, so if they fall, they will immediately die. And the only thing they'll be able to stand on is orange glass panes, which as you can see are very hard to stand on. All right, this is where the trap is going. So first things first, let's dig out a pit for the lava. Okay, and now before we place the lava in, let's build the actual parkour. So we'll start it off with something like that. Then we'll have another one here. Then we'll have just a one block jump because sometimes the small jumps are the hardest ones. All right, let's see how hard this actually is. Okay, there's one. Oh. No, I am dead. Yeah, that is definitely hard enough. I died like three times. Anyways, now let's add the lava in. And as you can see with the lava, these things just become a lot harder to see, making the parkour even harder. Ow. Yoink. And there we go. That is the last medium trap complete. But as you can see, the maze is still very incomplete. And in about 10 hours, one of my YouTube friends is going to come and test the maze. So it's time to complete this maze. Oh, this is taking so long. And so with the maze complete, it was time to see how it would fare without the hardest traps added. So I duplicated my hardcore world and converted that duplicate into a regular survival world. Then I uploaded it to my Wise hosting server. Oh, and if you want to get your own server, you can use my link in the description for 25% off. Then all I had to do was send Chazza the logon details and he was ready to test the maze. All right. Hello, Chazza. Hello, lockdown. You'll have 10 minutes to complete this massive maze and the rules are that you can't use third person and also you have to set your spawn to this bed, which you've just done, I think. Done. And because we're now in survival, if you die, you'll respawn at the bed. So try not to die to any of the traps. Traps? 10 minutes starts now. Let's go! How big is this, like, block-wise? It's like 500 uh, by 500? I'm pretty sure it's like... I think it's 100 by 100. Or it's like 150 by 150. Ah. <laughs> nah, I'm not taking slowness. Oh! I think my strategy is just to get to the uh, the tree. I think that's over there. You're going the wrong way then. <laughs> oh, we've got some snow. What is quartz? Snow. 
That's no problem. <laughs> Wait, what? Why did I leave a hole there? <laughs> is that part of it? Or? Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. There's no way he's making it. Oh, no. <laughs> I, thought I, really, I thought I could just run to another portal and I'd be through. <laughs> nah, that's amazing. The nether. <laughs> Why am I back at the beginning? <laughs> you know, I'm about to climb that ladder. You just watch me. You just watch me. Yeah, go on, kill me. How? Oh, oh no! He actually oh, made it to me. <laughs> yeah, let's suck on that! Let's go! There is six minutes and 15 seconds left. Check the back of the tree. All right. Your last luck. <laughs> you just wasted so much time coming up for you. Oh, there's a dead end. Nice little dead end there. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> There's another one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Got any more? I do. I've probably got like a hundred more. You actually are on the right track there. I'll yeah. give you that. I'll give you that. You've got two minutes, 15 seconds, so you need all the help you can get. Oh, parkour. That's a little easy parkour for you. you got There's 30 no way seconds left. Dead. I can't even see these ones. <laughs> like, I mean, I can. I'm not that blind, but like... If you mess up, you're going back to the start. Hell no. No! <laughs> Let me out! Oh no! No, not like this! He's done it! Yes! I did it! He's done it! In 27 minutes, he's done it! Let's go! Oh, I feel like I've achieved so much. I wouldn't like to thank Lockdown because that was torture, but. I need a pickaxe. So with the result of that test in mind, I'm going to change the time limit. I'm now going to give them 30 minutes to complete the maze. But remember, there is two of them, meaning there is a very high chance one of them could complete it. So to make sure that doesn't happen, let's build the hardest traps of the maze. And first up is the deadliest landmine in the entire game. There is literally no way to survive it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to build it in a creative world because I don't fancy accidentally losing my hardcore world. We need a tunnel that leads away from it so we can escape it without setting it off. Now we're going to use 13 TNT minecarts. 12, 13. Okay, now we cover that up. We go down the hole. All right, now for the important bit. We place a skulk sensor and very careful not to make any noise. We need to crouch away from it. And now for the best part about this trap, it is completely invisible. But if we go into survival, you can see even with netherite armor. It's 100% deadly. All right, now I think I want to build one of these traps here, but as we saw in the creative world, these traps make a massive explosion and I don't want the entire maze to be destroyed. So I think we should use some obsidian and make this part of the maze out of it. It will give away the location of it, but there's really nothing they can do to avoid it. Okay, now the area is protected. Time to build the actual trap. This is probably the most dangerous thing I've done in my hardcore world. If we place the skulk sensor there, it is armed. All right, make sure I'm shifting. Place it. Okay. Shift away very quietly. Did a fish just swim near it and blow it up? <sighs> that is really annoying. Well, we definitely didn't protect the area enough. So we can extend this with obsidian. But how are we going to fix the actual explosion? We can't have fish just blowing it up randomly. Hmm, I guess let's move on to the next trap for now. And whilst we're doing it, we might be able to think of a solution. And we definitely need to get building the rest of the traps because gamers and guilf are going to be doing the maze in less than two days time. So for the next trap, the main thing we need is a lot of stone. Now we're going to craft all of these into buttons. Then we can place these buttons all along this wall. So there is literally so many different buttons that someone could press. So the plan is they'll waste loads of time clicking each button to see if anything happens. And when they finally click the right button, a door will open up here and immediately close behind them. And only then will they realize that they've gone backwards in the maze and it will take them ages to get back to the same point. But of course, to make it fun, Fully functional, we need a piston door. Maybe if we do something like this, and then we put a button there. Yep, that worked. Now we need to link it up to one of these random buttons. They'll probably start on this side, so we should probably have it over here somewhere. I'm thinking this one. All right, so this should work. 
All right, perfect. Go through. It's closed. And we have lost so much progress. <laughs> that last trap was very evil, but this one should make up for it. So I'm going to dig one hole here and one hole over here. Then we're going to make this one that deep and this one a bit deeper. This hole is going to be completely filled with lava, but the second hole is going to have water underneath and a layer of lava on top. So if they jump into it, they could sink and quite easily survive. But why would they do that? Well, they do that for what's going to be in this chest, which of course is a potion of speed. And to be honest, we should probably also give them a fire resistance potion. Otherwise, they'll die to the lava on the way out. There we go. And just so they understand. All right. One is good. One is bad. Oh, it's been ages and I still can't figure out a way to make this trap work. It's just really complicated. But do you know what isn't complicated? Our next trap. In fact, it's going to be very simple, but very effective. And for it, we only need one ingredient. And that is sugar cane but lots of it. Now we are going to quite literally plant this sugarcane in this area. So all of these pathways are really hard to see. And maybe they'll even get confused and go back the way they came. Let's just make some lines for the water. And now we'll fill them up. And now we can finally plant our sugarcane. And we're out of sugar cane. But I'm going to go to sleep in real life anyways. So I might as well leave my PC on and let the sugar cane grow. Let's go. The sugar cane's grown. Now let's harvest it and replant it all. There we go. That is trap 13 complete. And speaking of completing traps, when I was trying to get to sleep last night, I was thinking about a solution to the landmine trap. And I think I've got it. But to make sure I'm right, we need some sheep. And more importantly, we need them to die. Okay, so the problem before was there were loads of fish that were swimming to the side of the skulk sensor and underneath the skulk sensor that were setting off the TNT, which in this example is represented by the piston. But in reality, we only want it activated when we walk on top of it. So what if we use wool to create a sort of like nest for the skulk sensor? Now, if we connect it up with redstone like we did before, it shouldn't detect us when we're down here making noise or when we're to the side of it making noise, only when we're on top of it. All right, let's give this a go. So first we'll put a layer of wool. We should also probably change this side to wool. I think this is about as good as it can be. Okay, now let's cover up the rest of the area with grass. All right, and now let's place the TNT minecarts. There's two, 11, 12, 13 TNT minecarts. We'll just have to hope that it's good. So with that trap finally complete, we only have three hard traps left to build. But gamers and guilf are due to take the maze in one day's time. We need to hurry up and build these final traps. Okay, so the 14th trap is going to be similar to that lava trap we did where there's two options. But this time it's with roller coasters. I'm going to build it out of black and white rings to give like a hypnotic effect. And it will drop into a big pit filled full of lava. They will drain it with some sponges place the lava down and we'll set up a bunch of rails so that's the bad choice now for the good one i want it to give them a slight advantage and progress them in the maze and i think i'm going to join it up with this part of the maze just before the lava trap so it's time to build a big underwater tunnel all right the tunnel is built let's test it out to see if this will actually work first things first we need to put minecarts in here then they'll take one and make their choice I am, of course, not going to choose that one. So I'm going to go this way and let's see if it works. Wow. Okay, well, it doesn't work. This works. We can go through glass on a straight. So we'll break this glass and have entrances like this. Now it should work. Let's go. It's working. Yeah, I really hope they choose this option so I don't lose my $1,000. But anyways, the second last trap is a bit of a different one. It's a mental trap. First, I asked ChatGPT to summarize the art of war. I then used these learnings to write signs all across the maze to get into my friends' heads and ultimately make them go the wrong way. So with all the mind game signs in place, there is only one trap left. 
and I think it's the trap that will secure me the $1,000. Because for trap number 16, I'm gonna trap a Ravager in the maze. So first things first, this guy needs to die. Now we need to get ourselves a Ravager. Let's name him Trap 16. There we go. And now follow me, Mr. Ravager. All right, there it is. I see the maze. We just have a massive, massive swim to get to it. During this five minute swim to Minecraft's hardest maze, I began to wonder if I'd done enough to keep my $1,000 or if my tens of hours of preparation and building had been for nothing. Well, I was about to find out. Once again, I duplicated my world and changed it to a survival world and then uploaded it to my wise hosting server. Don't forget if you want to get your own server you can use my link in the description for 25 percent off but then finally the maze was ready all right guys so you'll have 30 minutes to get to the diamonds in the center of the maze whoever gets the first wins the one thousand dollars this is going to be me then three two one go okay ah! i'm off 30 minutes starts oh. now i am muting so gamers is going right which is interesting Oh, he's found a nether portal. He's going through it. Oh, there's bits in the nether. Gilf is coming back around, going back to the start. I'm already lost. I literally took one turn. Oh, Gilf's gone into the nether as well. I bet he's uh, in this little perspective going, ah, they don't even need to go to the nether. Oh, why did I do that? I, gave him, I went through a trap and gave myself slain because I thought it would be good. How did you go the worst possible way? What the hell? <laughs> Gamers just found one of my mindset signs. Oh no, Gamers is going the wrong way. That's the worst way you could possibly go. Gamers found some snow. No, I'm Ooh, stuck. Okay. How do I get out? Yes, die. Gamers is about to reach the end. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was the wrong way. He wasted so much time. They've already had five minutes. Literally, they're all just staying around the left side. <laughs> They've had literally nine minutes and they're not getting to the next section of the maze. Oh, oh he's man. going back. Is he going to go the right way? Yes, he is. Ah! <gasps> what happened? I blew up. To what? To some blowy up thing. To minecarts. There's like pressure plates. If Gilf is fast enough, he might be able to catch up with gamers and then realize the right way to go. Oh, gamers has found the tree. Okay, there's like here. a little clue at the top to where to get. What is it? <laughs> I'm not telling you. You have to go up and get it. Do I, do I need to go up? Well, if you want the clue. Go up. Would well, just tell me what it is? No, I'm not telling you what it is. Gilp is going up the tree, even though gamers just came down. How dare you? <laughs> I knew it was going to be a trick. <laughs> All right, he is on the right path. Gilp is probably not far behind. One is good, one is bad. I hope this works. No! <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, where is Gilf? Oh, Gilf chose the right one this time. Oh my god, he's just skipped so much of the maze. Oh no. What is it? What? <laughs> yes. What just on. happened? The mine actually worked. Where is gamers though? He should be able to make it to the the minecarts and they'll both skip a big section of the maze and they need it because they've got 13 minutes left. Oh no. You can do it. Oh, he's making it. Nice. No! They've got eight minutes and 47 seconds. It's not looking good. Dead ends. I didn't think there'd be this many like really long dead ends. Mm-hmm. It's quite a good maze. Yeah. Well, think about who it is. He likes trolling people, doesn't he? <laughs> so. If there's a way to make someone waste their time, he'll find it. <laughs> he likes making fun of us too as well. Oh. Oh. He's found... He's going to find some glass in a second. This is going to really annoy Gil. <laughs> he can see the diamonds. <laughs> he's going to test all the buttons. Time is running out, but he's going to test them all. He's testing them. He found one. Oh. He's gone through and he's okay. gone backwards in the maze. Ah! I can see the diamonds. Can you? Yeah, but Ow. there's a glass wall, so you can't get it. 
How's it going, guys? Wait. <laughs> you went backwards. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do, do the parkour again. <laughs> I don't, Gilf, I... Gilf is now the furthest ahead in the maze anyone's ever been. Ooh. Oh, no. Good to know. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to hell. <laughs> All right, guys, listen to this. I can't hear anything. <laughs> it's the apple alarm. Oh <laughs> no! All right, but I will give five hundred dollars to whoever's first. Oh, okay. What? Yeah. Oh my god. That is interesting. They've both gone the right way. They could actually complete this maze soon. Go down, go down there, Gil. No, you get down there. You get down. I'm going. This okay, way. I'll go down. Wait, 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 I'll go down. Okay, go down. It's just powdered snow. You could have fell through the snow oh. and got a massive advantage. But you had to pick the right snow. I think I can tell what direction the diamond thing is, but I don't know if we have to like loop around. Which actually. direction is it from you? I think it's just like right in front of me. Well, I'll give you a clue. You're right about that. Yeah, I thought so. Well, you went right about going this way. No! Okay, go, go, go. Yes! He was just won the yes! $500! <laughs> oh no! And Gilf yeah. was watching it through the window. It took gamers nearly 40 minutes to complete the maze. And if you want to watch the full version with all the funny moments of them completing the maze, you can watch that here on my second channel. A huge thanks to Chazza, gamers, and Gilf for being in the video. And of course, thank you to you guys for watching.